There once was an orb on a Christmas tree tall. His name, it was Ubi, not Frederick nor Paul. And if you had seen him, you'd say, what a ball. But this is the tale of his terrible fall. Ubi the ornament had quite the ego. With his sparkling shimmer, he knew how to glow. And he felt it his right to be star of the show. So he wasn't content to be hung very low. One day he decided enough is enough. I'll push my way through all this less shiny stuff. So he wriggled and bounced and he shoved his way through. And the ornaments cried, please don't do what you do. To which Ubi replied, you're just jealous of me. And I know that you know where I'm supposed to be, cause I'm supposed to be at the top of this tree. And so he continued right up toward the top, where tinsel and light bulbs and baubles he hopped. While they cried out in warning, you're going to drop. Ignoring his neighbors, he just wouldn't stop. And higher and higher and higher he crept, until he could see the one spot he'd accept. Oh, I've done it. Now no one can miss me, he wept. But just inches away, little Ubi misstepped. And down through the evergreen branches he fell. What fate he would face, nobody could tell. And he hit the ground hard, and he felt quite unwell. As his sparkles, they flew, yes, right off of his shell. Then he rolled and he rolled all the way down the hall. And he only was stopped when he came to the wall. Then Ubi, now bare, with no shimmer at all, cried out, woe is me, I am dull, plain, and small. And then he looked back at the old Christmas tree, how its light shone so bright for the whole room to see. With the ornaments varied, all hanging with glee, except for the blank spot where he used to be. And he realized right then, it was never just him. He alone, without help, would still leave the tree dim. And he longed to return to his spot on the limb, his original spot neath the rest of the trim. And then, unexpected, a hand from above came and lifted dear Ubi with kindness and love. And returned him to where he still fit, like a glove, to his spot on the tree, which he now was proud of.